very few people in the world have a champion that is attributed to them. And when you think of Victor, you do think of Crown. Talia is basically the daughter of Twisted Fate to create lots of pressure and make sure they get that acceleration as quick as they want it. Roach moving forward to get that shield, and this is a two-on-one. Roach is going to eat it. First blood going over to... Looks like Ruler's still farming under the turret. Lands a big root on Cougar, and uh-oh, extremely low here. Can still block all the bullets. <laughs> He's going to hold it for as long as possible. The flash forward from Haru, that's going to be a kill. And the Q landed onto Soul too. He flashes away, but I don't think... Well, let me hold that thought. He's going to try for the flash forward here, and there you go. Punch attempting to come on in, and the teleport from Roach coming down bottom lane. Every, everybody from Samsung on the run now. Can they land the root onto Roach? It doesn't look like it. Cortez will be the first one to go down. And now Haru just trying to get on in there and die to the turret. Can he? No, just barely not. Ed's going to come on in and pick up that kill top lane and with Infernal Drake being the first one, it definitely makes something happen there. But Haru coming on in to punch. Bit of a 1v1 and Haru picks it up. Nicely done. Kongdu. Bit of a, oh, bit of a trade now actually. The Dragon Kick onto Roach pushing him back. Sonic Wave coming out and they do pick up a kill on the back foot. The back side of that fight, Roach maybe just stun coming down. Roach getting extremely low, but there is his ultimate to jump back in time. But they do get the lockdown. Haru pretty low on the right side. Look at Punch though on the left. He goes down. Looks like QV and Crown able to take him out. He is able to do so. They're going to leave it at that. Well, as I say that, actually, the lockdown onto So. In comes Haru, kind of needlessly, actually, does go down. The curtain call does do a bit of damage onto Roach but he does survive. Attempting to get back, but here's the depth charge. Can they land another stun onto this guy? Another hook comes down and just barely enough damage to take him out. There you go. Meanwhile, Haru, not even participating your side. Oh, landing a big amount of damage onto Gugger. That should be the kill there. Core JJ gonna pick that up with the help of a deadly flourish. The curtain call not gonna spawn in. Roach is very tanky. You can see that QBA was looking for a dredge line, not able to find one, so they're just going to turn back onto the Baron here. Oh, actually a big, nice uh, amount of uh, burst damage there onto Core JJ, but the Baron does go over to Samsung, and now able to turn this one around. Haru is going to survive. Lots of low members in the pit here. Here comes Soul trying to go 1v3. Can he actually do it? Just in that Sonic Wave, going to flash forward into the kick of Lee Sin. So we'll pay for that with his life. QBA as the Elder is coming up as well in about a minute. Well, here we go. Nice route by Core JJ as the Baron is being burst down. There comes the Weaver's Wall. Really nice knock up to get everyone from Kongdu away from there. The flash in for Roach. He is not going to be able to pick that up. Chrono breaks back. Look at how low Soul is getting in the back line. Can anyone get to him? There goes the flash from Cube. Able to finish off that kill. You can see just how low Crown is up at the top. But really nice play by Haru to knock that edge into his team. And this is going to be the slaughter of the lambs here as Samsung just rolls them after taking that Baron. Yeah, and now they're running up mid lane and Kongdu is basically doomed at this point and it looks like the game is probably going to end here. Too much time up on the main carry still. With the Baron minions, this might be lights out. Roach goes down, he does have the Guardian Angel, but I don't think it's really going to matter. Yeah, not going to matter. They burst him down, and down go the two turrets eventually here. As the minions push in, Haru trying to make his KDDA a little bit better, but there you go. Game one goes over to Samsung. Well, Samsung with a very traditional Samsung composition, and Kongdu, even though they drafted in a way that 